What is up, Pyromaniacs? Pyro Stasis is here. We're back in the world of Dawn of the Void. And uh, I do apologize that there were no episodes up on uh, Saturday and Sunday. Uh, schedule got a little bit busy, and there probably won't be on Saturday and Sunday. It'll probably just be a Monday through Friday series. Uh, we may, however, stream it like we did this weekend. There was an episode that came up on Saturday. If you haven't seen it yet, you probably want to check it out because it was full of some salty salt. It's about an hour and 20 minutes, hour and 30 minutes long. I don't remember exactly. Currently trying to get it up on YouTube as we speak. So you should be seeing this. Uh, should be seeing this video on Tuesday. That went up on Monday. Uh, I will be kind of covering what we do on stream series uh, so you guys don't miss out. So what we did on the stream series or the stream video, I guess I should say. Um, I did get this set up. I stole this from a village that's, I don't know, we may be able to see it from here. It's over there. They had a lot of agri-craft stuff. So uh, I stole it from there. And then uh, I got, I believe I got eggplant from them. I think, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, I'm fairly certain I got eggplant from them. And then I have, uh, right here, I have uh, garlic, which I got from, I believe it was, yeah, ginger and onion. So I did get ginger and onion over there. I didn't get garlic, but I was able to get garlic here. You'll notice things look a little fucked up, and my Coke oven is missing about half, well, 30% of itself. That's because John Cena Creeper exploded right here all over my face. And I was very salty about that. Very salty indeed. Uh, and then we set up a ginormous wooden water tank, which I stole from the village. And then back here, we have a transfer node with liquids. And you can see right here, it is increasing very slowly, I believe. We should click over to 113 here in a second. Uh, maybe not. It may just hold steady. And if that's the case, I'm perfectly happy with that. If it just holds steady. Uh, it does look like it's just holding steady. Yeah. I was hoping it would like slowly creep up, but it's also not creeping down. So that's perfectly fine with me. Uh, anyways, we've got that feeding into this, which then feeds into this trough. Event originally, there was also, uh, you can see right there, there's a irrigation channel. We had it over there with another sprinkler uh, right over there so that we could get, you know, double full coverage. Uh, probably don't need that now. It is what it is. We do have watering cans. Technically, I don't need this, but uh, it's just one of those things that passively helps kind of speed things up. So uh, those of you guys who have been watching for a while, you know that we have our culinary generators in here, which are feeding into our capacitor bank, which then feeds everything else. Uh, I am going to be making uh, 10 of 10 uh, eggplant and 10 of 10 garlic real fast. And this is going to allow us to uh, make stuffed eggplant, which is something you've probably seen in some of my other series. It's one of my favorite go-tos for culinary generators. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do this off camera. There's no reason for you guys to watch it. And I apologize for the uglification of the base out here. Uh, with the OCD unfriendly, uh, the John Cena Creeper pretty much blew the fuck out of everything. It actually blew through this wall here and almost hit my stuff here. So I need to be a lot more careful uh, how I do things out here. So that's why I'm going to probably, and, and by probably I mean definitely, going to set up a, I'm going to use a BAM bucket, that ought to be fine. Uh, I'm going to set up an internal crop system. Uh, not for, there we go, do I have a bucket? I do. Not for any real specific reason, but just for the ability to kind of grow in here because I'm going to be setting up the, um, what do you call it, the 10 of 10 crops. So I'm going to put the water source here and then I'm going to break you, 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 you. I think that's far enough. One, two, three, four. Yes. Um, there we go. And I broke a few too many, actually. Put you back. Because I just need the quad grid. So that means I can put you right there. There we go. And then this right here, this is my standard quad grid. Um, what I do is this, 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 like that. And then you just drop these little guys here. I don't remember if weeds are in this version. I think they are. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm, I'm pretty sure they are. Anyways, with this, I use the watering can. Uh, we grow all of these up. We get them set up, and then we just keep hybridizing them until uh, we get the 10 of 10. So I'm going to spend a few minutes doing that, getting that set up, and then uh, that'll be able to feed our culinary generators at a better rate, and we'll start doing some quests. 
All right, so after quite a bit of doing, we have managed to get uh, both garlic to 10 of 10 and eggplant to 10 of 10. However, there is one nasty problem. Uh, I don't know if this is Dark Osto's evilness or whatnot, but you can see you cannot stack eggplant at a greater than a four stack, which makes it almost cost prohibitive, just pain in the ass wise to uh to maintain the stuff over here now the nice thing is it is a good satisfying meal so if you need food like you see right now i'm down what uh one two three four and a half meat sticks so it uh it does seem to catch up pretty nice which is good but again like i said you can only carry four at a time which is kind of a pain in the ass but i'm not going to complain too much i guess i guess so what are we going to do now what are we going to do now? Well, first I need to get rid of this damn... Well, I guess we'll open the reward bag. You never know. Oh, particle customizers. That's exactly what I was hoping for for Christmas. Not really. Not really. All right. Let's... Yeah, I'm, I'm basically running out of room everywhere. Oh, please tell me I didn't just pick all that shit up. Okay, good, 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 good. Uh, I will keep these on the off chance that I decide I want to make my stuff pretty. I don't think I ever will, but on the off chance that, you know, it just decides, or I just decide for some spontaneous reason, completely against my nature, that I want to decorate, uh, I'll have that option. Uh, I'm going to keep the hardened jack pack on us, and uh, we should be good there. Have I processed a bunch of this stuff? Almost, almost. Well, I'm going to make another big old stack of uh, redstone because we are running shy on that. And then we're going to move on with some quests. All right, so uh, we're picking up kind of where we left off. I've got some large amounts of red crystal or redstone uh, done processing for the most part. Um, I did get... I did get our coke oven fixed. Uh, that didn't take too terribly long. Uh, I'm going to feed a little bit of coal into it. In fact, I'm going to feed all this coal into it. I can use this to uh, basically burn in another oven for whatever coal's worth. I don't necessarily have to physically have coal. And coal is one of the more abundant resources. Now, those of you guys who watch the live stream, you'll notice that uh, we have a lot of nether brick. Uh, I got this nether brick from a weird tower that was... Uh, let's see if I can still see it right here let me see if i can show it to you there we go uh this was a weird tower that was over southeast of where we're located uh, i mined the shit out of it because we were trying to see if there were any resources or anything in it there wasn't and uh i don't know why i hung onto the netherrack i got really lucky that i did though because we need a lot of nether brick for what we're fixing to do so let's look at that real quick. Uh, for blast bricks, uh, we need bricks, we need blaze powder, and we need nether brick. Now, I believe I've got a decent amount of blaze rods and blaze powder kind of strewn throughout my little base here, I think. I may be wrong, in which case we may have to go into the nether and do some fighting. I could have sworn I had... Okay, that's just actual fire, not blaze powders. Which is kind of a bummer. There's some more blaze powder and there's some more blaze rods. That'll be good. And I don't see any there. Do we have any in you? That's a negative. How about here? No. Yeah, one of these days I will sort my inventory. Probably right around the time we end the series. Okay, so we have all these blaze rods. What's the best way for us to get more powder? Well, if we do it this way, we get two. Uh, if we sag mill it, we get four. Uh, and if we pulverize it, we get four. So it doesn't really matter which one we use. We do have plenty of this. So I am going to go ahead and blaze, or what do you call it, sag mill these. Uh, it just seems like the best way to go about doing it with what we've got. And that should give us more than enough for what we need. Now, we do need 27 of these bricks. Uh, you get two per. So that means we need 13 and plus one runs, you know, a little bit extra. So we need 14 runs, basically. So we should have plenty of blaze powders to do that. Not too worried about this at all. Come on, push through, buddy. All right, there we go. I'll go ahead and store you uh, anywhere I can. All right, and then I'm going to pick this stuff up for another recipe here in just a second. Okay, so let me go ahead and double check. It's blast bricks, okay. Blast brick, there it is. Click the, well, actually, I don't have those, do I? Forgot that part. Okay, so I did go out and I mined an epic shit ton of cobble, which I then turned into an epic shit ton of gravel, which you can then turn into, I don't know why I'm doing that. Uh, 
I always forget. There we go. Which it turned into this. Uh, we are going to need a lot more than this than we, we've got. So uh, we do have plenty of gravel though, so it shouldn't be a problem. Put that there, put that there. I'll put 16 there. That's going to give us 16. That should be, I'm hoping enough. I'm not sure. I guess we'll find out. Uh, we'll grab the dirt. That's going to give us 16 on each side. Now the problem with doing clay this way, and it's probably not necessarily the best way to do clay. Uh, I can kind of understand that there might be better ways to go about it. So let's pull you out for now, put you in. Um, this is the way that doesn't require me to go around. And because of the state of the overworld at the moment, the overworld's a little fucked up due to, you know, the cataclysm or whatever you want to call it. So we can't exactly go uh, and look for, I mean, we can, but we might not find an ocean. We might not find any water supplies. And due to that, it might be a little bit more problematic to find clay. Clay is usually pretty easy to find in the overworld. This makes it pretty simple. It's just a little cost prohibitive. Uh, if I made a cyclic assembler, I could probably automate this at least to some extent, but again, it would be kind of a pain in the ass and probably require a shit ton of clicks. Uh, not sure it would save me really any time. All right, how much bricks do we have up here? We have 20, uh, that brings me a total of 23. I need four there, so I need 14. 14 times four is 56 so we need 56 of these which is a lot more than i currently have um although i think we're gonna get all we need from this yeah all right while we're waiting on that to go ahead and process through and i i believe that's gonna give us all we need pick that up uh the other thing that we need to make let me move you off the hot bar is a LV capacitor. Uh, LV capacitor requires iron, copper, lead, treated wood, which is what we're going to get from outside, and redstone, purple stone, green stone, whatever the hell kind of stone you want to use. We're just going to use the old redstone. All right, come inside. And hopefully this wood will work. I honestly don't remember. All right, so we got that there. We got that there. Shit. If I recall, actually, hang on. We have to do it this way. I think this gives us a lot more bang for our buck, if I recall. Surround it like that. And there we go. There's the treat of what we need. Okay. So we do LV. And we have two variations. One is full. One is not. That should give us all we need. We just need, I think, one of them. There we go. Let's take a look. Yep. There we go. That's also going to give us another battery. Dude, they like giving us these battery rack things, man. God dang. I have like... What, five of them already? No, three of them now with this one. Okay, I'll put you up. I'm gonna go ahead and put this coke brick up. I had one extra coke brick uh, in, our, in our little processes that we were working on. How are we doing over here with the bricks? We're up to 55, that should be all we need. Let's do blast brick. There you go. Keep in mind we need 27, so that means we're gonna have to make, oh my God, are you fucking kidding me? Oh my god, we are literally one shy. This is some dirty shit. All right, hang on. Let me process you and you. It's gonna give us a little bit more room. Uh, it looks like we were one brick shy. Fuck, dude. What are the chances of being one brick shy? I mean, like, for reals. So that means all we need is one more copper, or clay. That's ridiculous. There we go. All right, slide you over, and now we pull all you out. Okay. Yank that out. Well, I guess I can't yank it out now, can I? Because the inventory is too full. All right, let's clear some space. We don't need half these things anymore. Yeah, one of these days, we'll clean up the inventory. Actually, you know what? That's why I made this chest over here. Okay, so we don't need another brick, another rack. We don't need you bricks anymore, I don't think. Actually, yeah, we do. We'll need one stack. Don't need you, don't need you, don't need you. Okay. And that should clear up our inventory. Okay, slap that in. All right, uh, looks like we are running out of power right now, which means these are all dry. Uh, let's come over here, grab one, two, three. And we'll put one there, put one there. There we go. That should fix the power problem, hopefully. Yep, we're going back up. Good times. All right, last blast brick. I guess I pulled the blast bricks out. Yeah, we just need one more. 
There we go. Done. And that should give us that complete as well. And I am having all sorts of fun with the misclicks today. There we go. And that's going to give us a block of steel. Claim reward. Now, if I recall, and I might be wrong about this, but I think it goes out just like the other one does. Let's make sure we're clear. I'm actually going to put this one back. So we're going to go one, two, three. Sorry. After the stream, for those of you guys who missed it, you really should watch it. Some of the best highlights we've ever had were in that stream. Uh, I got uh, chain murdered by creepers. There we go. And boom. There we are. Boom, boom, boom. Perfect. Now we'll be able to make steel with that, I do believe. Now that's going to clear out this side of things. That puts us at 85% uh, of the technological era complete. We've already made the LV wire coil. Now we just need an LV connector, which needs some hardened clay and some copper. You can make hardened clay by taking clay and smelting it uh, as a block, which shouldn't be too hard. We do have all of the uh, materials for that. There's that. Where's the dirt? Am I out of dirt? No. There we go. And we got our little bucket. So how many of those do we need to do? We need four of them, and each one gives us one. So that means we're going to need to do this eight times, I think. My mathematics may not be working well today, boys. Not that it works all that well to begin with. Okay. So there's one. And two, and three, one more, and four. There we go. Gives us 16, which we then turn into four, which we then come over here and smelt. And that should give us hardened clay. Now we're going to need to steal a little bit of copper. There we go. There's three. And we're just waiting for the next one. There it goes, four. All right, let's take all of you out. And then if I recall, it's boom, 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 and then straight up the middle like that. That gives us the eight that we need. We hit that, boom, done. That's gonna give us wooden wall mounts and pedestals, pedestals which I believe allow us to um, basically wire things up in a pretty way. Uh, so for you guys who might be curious on what this looks like, uh, there we go, and then there we are. So I'm assuming it goes like that, which doesn't quite look right, but it's kind of cute. Kind of cute. So like that thing, you can see how it, it adapts. So this is hanging down here like this, which means I guess what they would want it done like would be, oh dear God, something like this and then something like that. And then this other one, you put it on top. Which would be cool. Okay. So, what's the next rest or next quest? Uh, where's my quest book? There it is. Okay, so for this one, it wants harder, badder, faster. Hook up an external heater to your stone furnace, hook up redstone signal and power, and you have an upgrade furnace. Hmm, interesting. So for this, we need copper, redstone, iron, and a copper wire coil, which is just LV wire coil. Uh, so we need lots of copper and we need some sticks. Uh, I do have copper on me. I don't have any sticks. Yes, I do. There we go. So we need eight of these, I think it is. I don't know how many this gives me. Uh, is it just... There we go. That's four. There we go. Okay. So let me look at that one more time. What's it called? External heater. External... Why did it stop typing? Okay, I guess it was lagged out. That's weird. All right, so external heater. Uh, to get this one, we need iron ingots. We've already got that. Iron is over here. Nope, that's aluminum. Aluminum and iron look way too similar in this pack. Not going to lie. All right, there we go. That gives us the external heater. Uh, I think we've got everything else we need. Yep, we sure do. Boom. We gotta be getting pretty damn close to completed this. That's an engineering blueprint and graphite electrode. No idea what either of those do. And then this is going to be the crusher. The crusher is immersive engineering's answer to pulverizing items. It will also work as a mob grinder. Take a look in your engineer's manual for build instructions. So to make this, we are gonna need quite a bit of different shit. Um, we're gonna need steel, number one. Uh, to make steel, that's going to require steel ingots, which you make by putting iron in a blast furnace, which we have outside here. So let's go ahead and take a half stack of iron. That should give us a 
fairly decent amount. And we'll put you in here. There we go. And then we're going to take the coke, cold coke from here, which will hopefully, well, I was kind of hoping it would speed up the process. Doubt it's going to. That's a very pretty sun. I do, I do really like the weather effects in this. Uh, you know, I was bitching just a second ago about the uh, two ores, iron and uh, aluminum, looking a lot alike. But uh, the sun in this texture pack looks absolutely stunning. So you can see it's not going to take us too terribly long to get the steel here. Uh, getting this hookup, though, is going to be a little bit more complicated because this is one of our, I believe, first multi-block structures. So that's going to be a little bit more of a pain in the ass. Uh, we are at 95% complete. That means when we complete this, that will be it, and we will be done with that. Uh, from here on, it's going to be chain, uh, what do you call them, uh, kill quests. So we're going to have to go kill some stuff. We've already done 33% of it, which makes me believe that there are the Lich King and then one more boss and then we have to do save the planet which is going to involve working on these two things here which we've already done 50% of and it looks like that may be it so let's see if we can't maybe complete these two things today all right I think I've got everything we need to uh, craft this uh, this new big old block I have never made this before it is a complicated multi-block structure so this is gonna be kind of interesting to see I've um, been having some problems with uh, keeping the old uh, what do you call it uh, furnace going because it has to have cold coke apparently didn't realize that so I've had to basically just sit here and wait for uh, the coke oven to more or less produce what we need I'm trying to make sure I'm not gonna have any surprises dropping down on me I've had a creeper blow up again. You'll notice right there in front, we've got a uh, little explosion. I'm gonna jump in here. Make hello, buddy. Make sure there's no creeper that's gonna jump out. I don't know where half this shit jumps out from. It's it's blowing me away because I can see it on my mini map, but I have no idea where they are. So I guess we'll just make do and kind of hope we don't get fucking killed. So let's get in here and make these. So uh, first off, you make steel rods by two steel ingots. Uh, got the other steel ingots here uh, should have enough stuff for everything that we need uh, first off we're gonna make the first part we need light engineering blocks we need 11 of these so let's go light engineering block that's right here need 11 of these guys let's go ahead and make this uh, I think we need four of those maybe more hang on light engineering blocks that's one two we need 11 of these so that's four let's go ahead and pull that up uh, let's do one, two, three, four, five, six ish. There we go. I didn't do the math on this, which is why I'm having such a problem. Ten, we need one more, so we'll do two more of these. One, two, there we go. And done. There's our twelve. Okay, so we've got our light engine. Are you kidding me? I guess I must have misclicked it, because you have to click it out individually, so. I guess because I didn't click it out one time, I now have to, or let me show you what I'm talking about. You can't shift left click here, you have to click it out individually, or apparently the mod doesn't count it. All right, so now we need, we're gonna do steel fences. We need eight steel fences. We actually need more than eight steel fences, but we're gonna start with just eight for now. So let's go ahead and make the eight steel fences. There we go. I just need steel fence. Well, I guess we'll just do it this way. All right, so we needed eight of these, I think it was. There we go, there's the eight that we need. Uh, actually, you know, might as well produce the rest of them because we're gonna need those as well. So there's four more. Uh, I'm not sure if I've got the math right on that, actually. Now we need steel scaffolding, which is three. So let's go, I think I'm a little short. Let's do steel scaffold, scaffold. <laughs> I can't spell it, my friends. I'm sorry. All right, so how many of these do we need? We need 10. So there's one, two. So we have to make a little extra. Okay, so now that we have the steel scaffolding, I think we are a little short on the fences. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I need two more fences, which we can get from outside. So we've got all the parts that we need here. Go ahead and claim that reward. We need to come outside, grab this, which I can turn into that. Set that up, jump inside again, close you, and there we go. We'll have a little bit extra. There we are. 
Okay, let's see if we can't make this. Like I said, this is a fairly large structure. I haven't made it before. I actually made this little hole here because I thought we were going to make a little slurry because I was going to dump out all of the creosote oil. But you can't actually right-click one of those buckets on the ground, which kind of fucking sucks. All right, so let's do the skill, skill, the steel scaffolding first. So we need uh, six of this. So we're going to go one, two, three, four. Okay, five, six. All right, and then I need one. And then one, two, three. Okay, now I need the light engineering blocks. So we want one, two, whoops, no, 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 no. We want one, two, three, one, two. Okay, hopefully you guys can see that. Then on the next floor, we want in the dead center, we want that there. And apparently we want, this makes no sense. Okay, we're gonna put you right here like this. Then we need the fences. I guess I'll move you off. So let's go fence. We'll go one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three. And then we go, uh, bam, bam. Yep, that should be right. Kind of weird that this part right here doesn't have anything on it. And then we need the hoppers. And the hoppers are just in a nine by nine over here on the top. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, I'm not quite sure how I'm supposed to do these hoppers because uh, it doesn't quite show them. So we're just going to place them like this and hope for the best. There we go. And then I'm supposed to just hit this with a hammer, I believe, which I think I put up. All right, so where's the hammer? Right here. Okay, I'm supposed to hit the center block, I believe, with this to make it work, uh, which I think is that right there. Yeah, it's not working. Uh, shit. Is it this one, maybe? Nope. Hmm. Maybe because they're on the ground. Let me play around with this for just a second, see if I can't figure out why it's not working. Oh, I think I know why. I think these are in the wrong spot. Whoops. There we go. Did I get them all? Yep. I think these go right here. Let me break all these. I want to make sure they're all touching the base. Okay, let's try this again. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Shit. There we go. Right, let's try this again. Hmm. This one? Nope. That one? Nope. Yeah, this thing sucks. <laughs> okay, let me play around with it for a minute and I'll figure out why it's not working. Okay, the reason it didn't work is I didn't click the fence right here on the center right side. You just click the fence, right click, I was left clicking. Um, probably would have worked right here as well. So we've got the crusher down, that's awesome. I believe that's going to conclude that quest. And this leaves us now with just doing the last little scrap mechanic item right here, uh, which shouldn't be too terribly hard, I'm hoping, and then doing uh, transfer arrays. Now, we do have quite a few of those left. We may have to make that into two videos. Let me see where we're at. Yep, I think it's probably best that we do these in two separate videos because uh, otherwise it's going to be about an hour long and some of you guys some of you guys aren't uh, able to watch that much in one sitting. So it's a good stopping spot for today. Next episode, we'll finish up the last little bits of saving the planet, which is just going to involve, I believe, this quest, this quest, and maybe one or two additionals. And then we're going to go on our boss killing uh, rampage. So... Uh, it does look like, let's see, how many quests have we done? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We've done seven, which means we have five more quests after these two. So that might actually be a little bit more than I think it's going to be. Uh, once we complete that, we'll go do the bosses. And I think that's going to be GG No Re. I think that'll be it uh, from that standpoint. Anyways, want to thank all of you guys for watching. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this series. If you do, please slap that like button. Make sure you subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next clip.